podcast. Um, I got something I want to show you guys. This just came in to the shop just now. It's from WSS Scenery Manufacturer in the UK. It is a static grass applicating device. Applicating? Applying? I don't know. It's an applicator. Um, but it's specifically designed for putting static grass onto model bases. So this just came in. I haven't tried it yet. So I just set up the camera right here on the uh, resin casting table in the shop and take a, taking a quick break from work just to find out if this thing really does what it says it does and, and if it works or not. So what it says to do is uh, put a little bit of static grass on the, uh, on the top of this metal plate here after I inserted the battery. Um, I can already tell right now that this static grass that I have is very, very short. It's probably going to look cool. But um, I'm doing U.S. Marines, and they're going to be in, like, uh, Pacific, you know, jungle settings. So I really want um, very tall grass. I want it to look like they're, you know, trudging through the jungle. So I'm not sure I'm going to like the effect too much for these guys, but the effect still might be pretty cool. So anyways, it says to take the, uh, the glue that they've included, which I'm sure is probably just a normal, you know, white PVA, you know, school glue. I'm going to just apply it randomly in a couple of different spots here. I don't think I want to cover the entire base because the entire base already has some green ground covering on it. Let's just put it in a few places and see if we can make it look like he's walking through some tall grass. Okay, next, I should probably rinse that off, but I'm trying to get through this. Next thing it says to do is take the uh, metal clip here and attach it to the base. Uh, I've seen pictures online where people are just holding it against the base like this because that's kind of the only way to attach it. You can't really attach. Um, I guess I could clip it on the edge here. That yeah, might work, but no, I'll just, uh, yeah, let's try that, why not? Okay, and then it says you basically just turn this on for a second or so and the grass should jump up and grab the, uh, you know, grab onto the base. Let's see. Wow! shocked the hell out of me. I guess if you're touching the clip and touching that, you're going to get a shock. It's very, very low uh, amperage, but I think it's like 15,000 volts. So I got a little of that just now. Um, so it looks like some of the grass jumped up there, but probably not enough. Let's turn this back on and do that again. I can see it jumping up. And the pile down there seems to be getting a little smaller. All right. Um, let's hope you get. Let's see if you guys can see that. See if it focuses. That might be too close to focus. Try it a little more. I see it jumping up. Okay, I think that's going to be pretty good. I'm going to have to wait for the glue to dry because it looks really weird. The glue is white. Let me see, does this focus? No, it sure doesn't. Okay, well, I'll take a couple of still photos so we can see what it looks like. But I'm going to wait until after the glue dries because the, the white glue that's on there just kind of ruins the whole effect. But I think it worked out all right. It's, it's short, like I thought it was going to be. But I think it's, it's going to look like grass, I think. So I am going to go ahead and do the second one. And then when these are both dry, I'll take some pictures and post this video online. All right, guys, we're back. I've given these a little bit of time to dry. Um, actually, I can still see a little bit of whiteness of the glue, but it's, it's dry enough that I can look at them and see what they look like and show you guys. I think if I hold them in my hand, it, it'll focus a little better than trying to focus just on the model itself. But anyways, it worked. It worked fine. I'm impressed. It's very cool and I'm going to continue using it. Um, however, I think I mentioned in the first segment of the video that these guys are going to be uh, in island jungle situations. So I wanted, you know, really tall weeds, not just grass. And this looks good as grass. And I'm, I'm impressed with the way it came out, especially for the first time ever trying it. But I do want them to be, you know, trudging through the very tall, you know, waist-high um, weeds and things like that. This one here is kind of a combination. Hopefully you can see. I'll, like I said, I'll put up some pictures as well. But uh, this guy has the uh, 
the static grass that I just applied, and it also has two bits of the 12 millimeter uh, gamer's grass. And I like the look of the gamer's grass. However, if I wanted to cover the entire, you know, surface of the base with gamer's grass, I'd go broke pretty quick. And that's why I started this little experiment. So this is 12 millimeter gamer's grass, and I've ordered some 12 millimeter static grass and also some 10 millimeter to mix it up a little bit. So I think between the 12 and the 10 millimeter that I just ordered, and then this stuff that I already have, which is probably in the range of like two or three millimeters, uh, if I mix that all up and do different bits on different ones, I think it'll look really cool. So uh, first impressions, this thing here works. It works well, it's very cool. I'm excited to play with it some more, um, but I do need to wait until I get some taller static grass and that way I'll get the effect that I really want. But uh, just as a really quick first try, first impression, it's cool. I like it and I'm going to use it. So there you go. That's it. Talk to you guys later and keep on gaming.